In my last video I started off with 24 hours to get one kill with every carnivore in the game. We completed that challenge which now means we're left with 13 hours and 46 minutes to get a kill with every herbivore in the game. Meaning that by the end of this video, if all goes to plan, we would have got one kill with every single dinosaur in the game, Path of Titans. All 31 of them. Oh yeah, and don't forget to join the Discord. Link in the description. Enjoy the video. Our first dinosaur is that Alberta Ceratops. Why does he do quests like that? Look at the, <laughs> look at the head movement. We'll come back to this clock after every few kills so you can see just how much time we have left and how long it took to get a kill with each dinosaur. The first thing I ran into was a Rex. Talk about getting thrown in at the deep end. Uh oh. Oh, they killed the Kentro. They don't like herbivores around here. I need to get out of here. Oh no, this place is horrible. Oh, there's something else. It's like a ghost train. Just going around corners, things popping up left, right and center. I don't like ghost trains. I like bushes where it's safe. The bush was proven to be quite a safe place. Until the bush proved to be an unsafe place. Get up, get up, get up. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, and another thing. Oh no, 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 no. Charge, charge to get away. I think I'm dead, I think I'm dead. Go, just use the charge, just get out of here. Looking back, the coast was clear. But just as I took to another bush, I was seen. And that swiftly wrapped up the bush saga. I spawned in the barren expanse of nothingness, so I had the nice job of running all the way back. Ah, uh, the sun's setting. I hope I can get a kill before dark. I was surprised to bump into some icons of my childhood, Miss Piggy and Kermit the Frog. They were a lot more bloodthirsty than I remembered, so this is the reason people tell you to never meet your heroes. That's a long bone break, I don't like that. After standing my ground for a while, the couple decided that they'd had enough. He's just gonna run to the water, though. Eh? For some reason, the Dimetrodon lay down to heal quite close to where we were having our fight. So naturally, I charged at him. Go, 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 go. That's a big hit. Yes! Before the sunset as well. Exactly what I wanted to do. Getting a kill with the Alberta had taken 55 minutes. Leaving us with 12 hours and 51 minutes to get a kill with every other herbivore. I also just want to quickly say that I was avoiding cheap kills in this video. I was also trying to get attacked by a carnivore first to keep that element of realism alive. So that meant we were on to the next dinosaur alphabetically, which is the Amargosaurus. This has to be one of the best sights in the game. I'm clarifying here that I was talking about the sunset and not the dinosaur shaking its booty all over my screen. What a cool looking dinosaur. I mean, just look at that. Look at it go. Never mind, I'm clearly obsessed. In the middle of an island in Hunter's Thicket, I was attacked by a Rex. The location meant that I had to fight. There was nowhere to run. At this point, I had very little confidence in winning until blood showed up on the Rex's body. And with one final swipe of the tail, I brought down the behemoth. Oh my God, I killed it. What? And although I was killed immediately after the fight, I was happy to have ticked off the Amaga. Ooh -hoo. Next is the Anodontosaurus or the Anki. I don't want to go near the croc. I don't like him. Here he is. I waited for the croc to bone break him, knowing that even if he grabbed me, he wouldn't be able to make it into water in time. Hit him again. Nice. Then, because I'd broken his little legs, he was ever so slow getting back to the water and it gave me all the time in the world to keep on hitting him. But Miss Piggy had other ideas. She was going to avenge Kermit by doing anything she could to stop me from killing the croc. Oh no, it's time to hunker down and fight back against this guy. This little piggy didn't even want to fight and went wee 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 all the way home as soon as it knew the croc was safe. And the croc survived. I need to get out of here. Then I forgot about the croc for one minute and look what happens. Uh, I'm going to drown, aren't I? Yep. Almost all of the gameplay as the Yankee involved me hunkering down and then getting put in a blender by about 15 dinosaurs. Occasionally I'd nearly kill something like this Rex, but then it would just leave the circle and run away. He's making a run for it. I tried to chase the Rex down to kill it, but its fate was out of my hands. So it was back to the old blender for me. Apparently nothing unites dinosaurs quite like the idea of forming a circle, holding hands and chomping down on an Anki until it's dead. And I learned that the hard way, over and over again. And now I'm dead to this guy. Jesus, man. I mean, seriously, look at this. What can I do? <laughs> There's so many around me. This time they got me good. I hold my hands up. Fair play. That's a huge, huge... Right, great, great. This went on until the most unbelievable thing happened. Yep. You're seeing it right. A solo dinosaur. I broke him again and he's gone in the water. I'm jumping on his head. Come on. Come on. Just end it. <laughs> With no stamina left after our fight, the Rex couldn't do anything, and I won. Okay, that is the Anki done. <laughs> I don't know why everyone's in huge groups today. I just can't deal with them. Or I suck at the Anki. Probably both. You can tell me how much I suck in the comments. All the time spent playing the Armagosaurus and then the Anodontosaurus had taken 1 hour and 53 minutes, leaving us with 10 hours and 58 minutes on the clock. 
Next is the Bars Boldia, and this time it's sunrise here, sunrise in the burned forest. I spotted a Suko, a Giga and a Rex, and honestly, I would have been happy to fight any of them. I antagonized the Giga with a little headbutt. My challenge, my rules, the fight was now on, although the Dino Sukas had a challenge of its own. Whoa! He's burn breaking me. I now had two things that wanted to kill me. Just keep on slamming that tail. There we go. That was accurate. Come on. Although I didn't notice at first because I was preoccupied with the Giga, the Dino had dropped dead behind me. Oh wait, I killed it! Although the fight was still on, and now there was a third participant. The Suko. Oh, I killed the Suko as well! <laughs> wait a second! The Massacre! You can run, but you can't hide! Almost poetically, the final stand was between the two original contestants, but there could only be one winner. <laughs> yes! Look at this! Herbivores prevail! That's a triple kill, baby! Look at my health! <laughs> the high of the triple kill was immediately crushed by damning dread. I now had to get a kill with the Camptosaurus. This was always going to be the hardest of the herbivores to get a kill with, and it was probably going to take a very long time. My presumptions about the Camto were confirmed almost immediately. Oh god, oh god, okay, this Camto is not built for combat. <laughs> Camto go burr. I'm not sure why I tried this. I'm not even sure why I left it in the video. Uh oh, uh oh, go. Ah! So I went and picked on something my own size. Uh oh, I landed bite after bite after bite on the small raptor. Knowing that if I kept doing this and avoided its one secret weapon, I could win. The pounce attack. No, now he's on. Oh no. Uninterrupted hits for the raptor. Wait, this is a problem. He's not even getting up in the water. I'm swimming out to sea. No, he's just gonna... What? He's just gonna kill me! But just as I thought I was dead, the raptor ran out of stamina. Oh, <gasps> he got off. Somehow I had to make it back to shore. I don't like it. And somehow I did. Question is... Oh my god, I'm faster trotting. I think he sat down to get stamina. Go, 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 go. Is this a safe place to heal? Probably not. Are we gonna do it anyway? Yep. I even outlived the raptor. It's the small victories. I could go for the Theri. A Therizinosaurus was the perfect target because it can only attack from the front. Uh oh. In theory, if I could attack from behind for an endless amount of time, I'd eventually win. Ooh. I just needed no interruptions. Look, he's backing up. He's already scared. Imagine hiding when a Camto is the only thing attacking you. Come on then. I knew that because of my size, it was going to take a lot of hits to kill this thing. This must be doing no damage because he is not bothered. The attacks eventually must have proved too much for the Theri because he backed up into a rock yet again. I'm a Camto. I'm a little bitty Camto. Ooh, 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 ooh. Imagine having this much power and not wanting to fight. Ow! Oh my god, that does damage. What the hell? But I hadn't given up on the Therizino yet. I was just going to wait in the shadows until he went to heal. And eventually he did, so it was my time to strike. Run away! No! Surely he got a little bit weak from that. He best not make friends around there. I'd found my game plan and I stuck to it. No run. Oh, the trike doesn't like me! Understandable, Mr. Trike. Understandable. Oh no. The trikes were made friends with the Therry. If they protect the Therry against the Camto, I am done with this game forever. He sat down. He's laid down. Go. Go. I never knew how much health the Therry had, or if he'd ever lie down again. I just took my opportunities when they came. Now run away again. <laughs> Look, they're on patrol for him. Look, I'm just in the shadows at all times. Go, 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 go. Run again. <laughs> I lurked in the shadows yet again, waiting, watching. <gasps> oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Look at them all. Look how happy they are that the little Camto is dead. Oh my god. Look how small I am in its mouth. Look at the size of that thing. Well, if that's what they need to kill me, that's what they can have. <sighs> My next fights went like this. Fought a Giga, but it materialized into nothing. Got picked up and taken away by this guy. Only narrowly escaped that one. Got into a fight with another Raptor. Fought him for absolutely ages. Followed him for so long, in fact, he managed to make like three new friends. I had to keep dodging his friends while trying to attack him while he hid on the top of this rock. And that was going kind of well until the raptor's secret weapon struck again. Oh, he's on. Damn it. That's it. That's it. I'm dead. If I can survive this, I don't expect to. <gasps> I survived this. I got into another fight with the Ceratosaurus. Oh my god. 
but he had more friends than me as well. And they did a good job at sticking up for him. As I was hiding to heal, the Serra walked right past me. Leaving the protection of his friends, I now had a target. Oh, he's over there, look. Oh, he got into a fight he can't finish and now he's weak. Now we can go, sir. Now we can go, buddy. Yeah, now who wants a fight, huh? Uh oh, oh, his friend's back, brilliant. Dodging and weaving from the crypt tops, I was more than determined to make the Ceratosaurus mine. No! I'd baited the crypt tops away from the Cerato and I could finally end my suffering. Yes! Yes, you suck! You suck, you can't get me! Unlucky Utah, you suck as well. <laughs> Just let me have this one, I was excited. Getting a kill with the Bars Baldia and then the Camto had taken a whopping 2 hours and 19 minutes. I think you can guess which dinosaur took up most of that time. This meant we only had 8 hours and 39 minutes to get the rest of our kills. It was time to get some faster kills. Ooh, next is the duck. Okay, this should be an easy one. Oh, I've awoken the family. That thing is huge. Oh my god. And one by one, they dropped into the water to meet me. I singled out the white one as my target. His unique color would help me remember which one I was going after and avoid the other two at the same time. Man, I'm already so weak. It's three of them now, I guess. While I had a tighter turning circle than the dinos, when it came to speed, they had the upper hand. This made avoiding the darker two very hard. You lot are so annoying. Wait, where's the white one gone? Is it you? Yeah. Oh yeah, and Asako also came to help. Nope. My health extremely low, I knew I could only take a couple more bites. Thankfully, it was enough. Yes! I got him, I got him, I got him! Now if I can just escape. I doubt I can, but we'll try. Nope. <laughs> well, I got him. <laughs> Ooh, we got the EO Trike. Two back-to-back -back beasts. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> There's two dinos in this water here. Are they going to come for me? Oh, yep, that's it, yep. Hold up. Here we go, here we go. Sharpen horns. I picked the dino on the left and charged. Sharpening my horns granted me extra damage for a small window of time. Wanted to make this quick, but the dino would start to run. He's weak, he's weak. I know he's weak. I couldn't follow my chosen dino into the water, so I had to switch targets. Keeping the croc in front of my head, I just kept on hitting it. I can probably tank this, can I? I can probably tank this. Yep. Oh boy, you must be weak too. I'm going for him as well. Oh, he didn't like me when I did that. Well, he's gone. <laughs> That's that done. Next dinosaur, straight away. Next is the Iguanodon. I don't play this a lot at all. Oh, I've spawned down here. Tactical respawn. Drown myself. Just watch everything go to black. Yay. Where else better to get something to attack you than Crater itself? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Kick the Sarko, kick the Sarko. Kick the Suko, kick the Sarko. I chased after the Sarko that had initially attacked me and found myself in the middle of something I didn't want to be in. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what the hell is going on here? I don't even know what I took all that damage to just then. From the dispersing cluster, I picked the thing that looked the weakest. Sadly for this Rex, it was him. With no more room to run, the Rex was there for the taking. Yes! <laughs> I think he was one of the ones that did a lot of damage to me. And now he's dead, so that's good. Ooh, the Kentro. I like the Kentro. I ventured into the crater and found myself in a fight with two Quetzal Koalises. Need to dodge that one because he's fully healed. I again employed the strategy that I'd used in fighting other duos and just picked one and stuck to it. The reach of the Quetz's neck was longer than that of my tail. This made the fight more difficult than I anticipated. I'm about to die to these things. And die I did. I spent another period at Green Valley fighting a lot of different things, but that eventually amounted to nothing. It was later on that I found a concavenator on a rock, missed my first attack, and then angered all of his Dino friends. Luckily, the concavenator was brave enough to come after me himself, even if the smarter thing would have been to hide behind his huge friends. While the Dinos were trying to catch up to hit me, I kept fighting the Conquer, and I was clearly winning. Its attacks were predictable and my tail was always there to meet it. Look at everything, they all wants to kill me. Yes, Trike, you show him. Now weak, the Conqueror attempted to hide in a bush. Oh, I killed it! It's so dark, I can't see anything, but I killed it. Getting a kill with the Duck, the Eo Trike, the Iggy and the Kentro had taken 1 hour and 58 minutes. Not bad for 4 dinosaurs. We now had 6 hours and 41 minutes left on the clock. That is not a lot of time. Next is the Lambulance, the Lambiosaurus. Immediately after spawning in, I encountered a Suko who was out for blood. 
I don't even have my abilities on, sir. How's that fair? And against all odds, I spawned in his territory again. Someone's back for more. Why? I've nearly done my quest. Oh. And then on the opposite side of the map. Oh, no. Are you joking? Not another one. Help me. Oh, God. Go. Save me, Spino. Save me, Spino. No. Suko's a bully in me, man. Maybe I do need the tail attack. I tried to source a fight on my own, but I was followed by a group of herbivores that wanted nothing more than to be my friend. You messed up, buddy. These lot are stronger than me. Travelling and hunting with this herbivore squad meant that I only had a 1 in 4 chance of actually being the one to get the kill, and I was being led on a wild goose chase. I think we may have finally lost him. Somehow we even picked up another member. As we grazed by the river, I was considering just getting up and leaving. How have I got myself into this situation? <gasps> He must not believe what he's seeing. One last rodeo with the group and then I'd leave. We killed it. <laughs> I'd now escaped from the group into the forest, but I bumped into the dinosaur that we were all initially chasing. It was time to finally kill it. Oh no, there's a Rex. As Karma would have it, he'd made a few friends of his own along the way. I knew what I had to do. Herbivore brothers, herbivore brothers, save me. I made my way back to the safety of the squad on such low health. Yes. Yes! Oh no! But my low health had made me the easiest target of the group. Oh my god, the Rex died. No, I fell down here alone. Ah, oh, and he got me. I found another small dinosaur and began the chase, this time on my own. But then through the trees emerged a protector. Oh lord. Oh lord. The contest was on, but it was going to be a tough one. The plan was to keep my attacker far enough behind me that I could hit him with my tail attacks, but he couldn't bite any significant parts of my body. I'd be dealing blows to its head while it could only bite my tail. This meant that the damage trade-off would be in my favour. I'm hoping we can keep him at bay like this. Just kite him. Oh, you let him bite the body though, oops. It was evident that I was successful with my techniques when the smaller carnivore returned to help its saviour. Oh god. Wait, I'm actually getting him weak. And then with the tail swing that hit both dinosaurs. Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> I just kited him into dying. In all fairness, the small carnivore did achieve vengeance. Okay, I died, but I killed that guy. <laughs> Next is the patchy. I know it's technically an omnivore, but you know, here we are. I always find myself drawn to the big targets. I'm just gonna keep charging him. Oh my. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Oh, wait. And for some reason in Crater, going for the big targets puts a bounty on your head. For example, this car car now had the protection of the crocs, and he knew it. Oh, well he's on me now. That's cool. Oh no, and there's crocs. Expelled from the crater by a couple of crocs and an alio, I was eventually killed. What's he doing? Skibidi bidi bidi. <laughs> Again, I went for a big target, this time at Green Valley. A Giganotosaurus that was grouped with a Rex. I was using speed to my advantage and dodging the Rex quite easily while hitting the Giga. I noticed the Giga didn't have a tail attack, so just resorted to flurries of small headbutts rather than the big charges. What is he doing? Oh no. Oh my god, what? Knowing I'd disturbed the locals, I had to leave. Back in the plains now, over the hill like a steam train came a croc, and because it was so far from water, I attacked. I eventually ended up backing it into a corner. The croc wanted to deter me with a big blow to my health. It charged its crushing bite. Each time it did this, I'd have a small window to attack. Sometimes I'd even be able to land a headshot on the croc. But coming to its senses, it eventually decided that its safest bet was to run to water. I tried to finish it off before it got there, but crater being crater, the croc was escorted to water by the cult. It's trying to hurt me. Making a change from the big targets, a Dimetrodon attacked me. And it's safe to say that he bested me. Jesus Christ, alright, I'm gone. I ran away and eventually ended up in a big cave. I jumped my way up some steps onto a plinth where I thought the Dimetrodon wouldn't be able to follow. Oh my god, oh my god, he can. Great. I decided to take my frustration out on a Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus attacks predictably and slowly. And although it had a friend of its own, I was able to bait its attack every time and land a hit of my own. It was obvious that I was doing some significant damage because it became more and more reluctant to fight me, and it was so obvious where it was going to go to get away. Can't take the heat. Can't take the heat. Get out of the kitchen, that's what he's doing. <laughs> I had to stop it from reaching Crater. I could land a charge attack every 14 seconds, which just wasn't going to be enough, so I began with the small headbutts again. He didn't like that. Neither did his friend. <laughs> look, look at him. 
This is what people do. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Hopefully someone comes and interferes with my fight. The Spino was making a beeline for the water in the middle of Crater. All I could do was sit behind it, keep attacking and hope for the best. I did this for an unbelievable amount of time, tracing its every step and attacking the entire way down. I had no way of knowing how many more hits it would actually take. The Spino's wishes eventually came true, as annoyingly he was saved. Try not to interfere challenge difficulty impossible for anyone in Crater. I'm just leaving. I'm just straight up leaving. But you know what they say, if you can't beat him, join him. So I became what I hated the most, an interferer, a third partier. And it paid off, what can I say? Another hollow victory, but you know, what can you do? I don't know if Stego is going to be easy or hard. I really don't know what to expect from this. I'm just going to trust that he's going to be nice. Yeah, good thing to trust. We'll just pretend like this death didn't happen. Even Crate is looking kind of dead. Now anyone who's played community servers for more than a few hours will know this combo. A U2 Runners and a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh dear, oh dear, this is really bad. The U2 Runners is small and fast, but also has a bone break attack that lasts just enough time for a Rex to catch up and deal its incredible damage per second. Kiting technique was working, but then I got bone broken by the UT, allowing the Rex to catch up and bite my body. No, I got bone break. When the UT wasn't around, it was a very one-sided contest. I could land as many hits to the Rex's head as I wanted, and there was nothing he could do about it. But my endless barrage was causing a commotion in Crater. And again, Crater being Crater, that was the bat signal for the cult. Including my old friend, the UT. Oh, here we go, I'm dead. Now you see why the combination's so effective. Even though he's weak, if they didn't have the UT bone break in, I'd have probably killed that Rex. It was time to go for a spot of fishing to put my mind at ease. Using my spiky tail as a lure, I sat and waited. Yay, my first catch. But there were some bigger fish in the water that I hadn't come prepared for. Oh, that's a Danisukus. But it all worked out in the end. And honestly, if you ever bored in Path of Titans, give Stego fishing a try. It's a lot of fun. Yay, I got him. Ow, you're gonna kill me. This guy's evil. Getting a kill with the Lambio, the Pachi, and the Stego had taken 2 hours and 56 minutes. That is embarrassing. There's now two dinosaurs left, and with 3 hours and 43 minutes on the clock, on paper, that sounds easy. Until you see what the next dinosaur is, and you realise we could quite easily fail this whole challenge. I'm not prepared for this. This is truthy, man. This is gonna take a while. Hello, Struthy. We've only got one attack with the Struthy, and that's a kick. This guy's hiding in the bushes. I think that might have annoyed him. I decided to try my hand at this Cryptops. It's going well so far. And after trying for a while, it was going much better than anticipated. Struthy's actually good, what? Hearing some footsteps behind me, I made a mistake. Oh, he hit me that time. A Dimetrodon that wanted me dead. No! But because I've come so far in this fight, I just had to keep on attacking the Cryptops. That Metrodon's gonna kill me, isn't it? Running out of health, stamina, and time, I was willing to risk it all. No! Oh my god! But it didn't pay off. No! So I had to find another fight. I got as many hits in as I could before the wreck stood up. The commotion of all the hits had caused about three other things to come over and get involved. Wait, well, yeah, I actually got quite weak since he was sat down there. Ow, he hit me with a tail. Look how many people there are. I'm not even bother. And he's gone to lie down. Oh, huge mistake. No! Yes, I've stopped his waystone. After leaving to get stamina, I came back and found the Rex trying to run away with the waystone. This gave me the opportunity to get even more hits in. Ah, the tail. I don't like the tail. For the most part, the Rex was struggling to hit me. And if I just took my time, stopped, let the Rex attack, I could easily land a hit afterwards. During the time where the Rex had no group members and no one trying to protect him, I found the fight fairly easy. The kick attack from the Struthy was quick enough to go through the Rex's body without getting hit by it. So I just kept on going. Occasionally I had to stop to collect stamina, but other than that it was continuous hits. He's getting quite weak, but he's gonna make it to Crater, isn't he? Asuko had caught up with the Rex and decided to protect him. Yeah, nice one, Suko. Good job interfering there, buddy. That was really cool. You keep going for Crater, sir. You keep doing it, I believe in you. Suko's here to help. Huge mistake on his part there. He's trying to get me. He's trying to get me. And then even more help arrived. Whoa! Just got hit by a car now. Fine. Do what you want. Yep, you found your group that will protect you through anything. These protectors weren't exactly the sharpest tools in the shed. I've just sent that Kano off the cliff. That's so funny. <laughs> nice try, buddy. 
The Rex was clearly relying on his newfound protectors to keep me occupied while he gained back some health. Oh, grow up, you lot. What's your problem? Look at him. I just wanted to fight that one guy. I found him again. After coming back with full health, I again discovered the Rex in a bush. But as soon as he stood up, he made a beeline for where he knew his protectors were fighting. And despite my best efforts to stop him, the many, many hits I gave him, he eventually made it all the way there, and they were there to protect him again. Now they're going to try and help him again. Yes, well done, Carnell. That was a really good charge. I guess I spoke too soon with that one. Oh, Jesus. That's it. The Carnell hit me. So I decided to go for the Carnell. He was the one that had got under my skin the most, so it was time for some good old-fashioned payback. I shouldn't try and ruin other people's fights. He just doesn't want me to kill him, it seems. Anyone else killing him is fine. Somehow the Kano had found another group of people willing to protect the Goliath rather than the David in the fight. And I don't mean that I wanted to help for myself, I was more just annoyed that they were there at all. Oh, he's coming. Yeah, nice try. So again, it was a matter of hitting the Kano as many times as I could while avoiding all of his protectors. Understandably, this was much easier said than done. Why are they all coming for me? I don't understand. I had to run away to take a breather. To my surprise, the Kano actually followed me, and that meant once more that we were left alone to have a good, well-spirited 1v1. It's just a shame that the Kano realized it was losing and decided to run back to his friends. He's running away now. Just to, he's trying to get other people to attack me. At this point, I was a bit sick of it, so I just carried on attacking him despite the chaos around me. I actually got hit that time. Knowing that it was only a matter of time before I could expect a random attack in the back or the side, I threw myself at the Kano as frequently as I could, just trying to deal as much damage as possible. Oh, I got hit again. <clears throat> Raptors here. Yeah, good shot. I attacked the Kano again as soon as possible, but came back to the same old antics. Grow up, you lot. What's wrong with you? I spent most of my time circling the Kano and dodging his friends just charged into his friend, I'm pretty sure. And at this point, as you can probably understand, I didn't know whether to laugh or to cry. Have you ever seen this happen before? Look at the state of the people around him protecting him. But I just had to keep on going. Look at them all. Look at every single one of them coming for me. Causing such a commotion, this is so funny. This Alio's weak, to be fair, I could probably kill him. Oh, close. Come on then, Alio, come on. That's what I thought. Where is he? Where is my boy? Where did he go? Where's he gone? Has he left the fight? I've scared a fully grown Kano off. What am I playing? A wild Giganotosaurus who'd looked like he'd just finished a rampage. Having already warmed up earlier by fighting a Rex, I was confident that I could employ the same strategy here and be just as successful. Well, I was hoping to be more successful to be honest and actually get a kill from this fight. So I just took my time to make sure that each attack was effective, doing my best to either attack when the Giga least expected it or attack just after it swung its tail. Because if I didn't do that, this would happen. No, the tail attack. I now had the Giga incredibly weak and he'd retreated up a rock. But with the Dimetrodon coming into the fray, I now feared the worst. If I'm honest, I was worried about the Dimetrodon stealing my kill. But for some strange reason, it attacked me. What is it with these people? Really? I've got a Giga this week and you're going to attack me? You are joking, right? He then approached the Giga in an obviously friendly manner, but the Giga attacked him. Oh my god, he's just turned on his helper. Wait a second. That was dumb. Why did he do that? He just turned on his only saviour. <laughs> you had a saviour there, Giga. And now he's coming to kill you. As dangerous as it was, I had to attack the Giga. If I left him on the rock, he'd be allowed to heal. Did I measure was getting in there? Oh my god, he's dead. He's just laid out the... This was make or break. I had to keep going. I took damage there. Bad damage. Hit him again though. Come on, come get it. I can't afford to take another hit. But after getting so, so close. That's it, that's it, that's it. Damn it. Sat on a rock like that. Ah! I'm genuinely losing my mind now, so I might just kill the next thing I see, to be honest. All oh, there together. Oh god. Wait, maybe the Rex actually. Can I hit his tail? I can, I can. Everything had led up to this moment. By now, I was an expert at fighting the large theropods, and I knew exactly where I had to be and what I had to do. Well, most of the time. I still made some mistakes. Ah, he got me. So far, I was proud of the progress that I'd made. In all of this time, I'd only taken one hit from the Rex. But the mate from earlier decided to get involved as well. Ooh. No, I don't want the mate to help me. It was in this moment that I realised I had to stop being a perfectionist, and I just had to get a kill. Ah, he's gonna kill the Rex. Never mind, he's dead. He's coming for me, though. I was going to let you heal and then fight you again. I'll lead him away and then let him heal, maybe. 
I was so torn between just taking this kill or actually waiting for a fair fight. Why did you sit down? Get up! That's not good content, is it? Oh, you just sat down again, you idiot. Why? I'm not taking that. <clears throat> I'm just not. But because I'd spent so much time on this fight, and the Struthi in general, I decided to take the kill. I knew going into the Struthi that I had a lot of time to kill, so I tried my best to get the most impressive kill possible. Yeah, I could have definitely killed something quicker, but I wanted to do something impressive for the video. It's just a shame that that took me 3 hours and 10 minutes. I'm being deadly serious. This means we have 33 minutes to get one kill with the very last dinosaur. I thought the best way to show this would be put a live timer in the top left of my screen and show it you with minimal editing. Enjoy. As you can see we are onto our last dinosaur. So as soon as we hit create the timer begins and we have 33 minutes to get a kill with the Styraco. I can hear footsteps close. I need to do one quest. I can definitely hear something again. It's been two minutes and I haven't even completed the quest that I need to get my abilities. Yes, I knew there was bones here and I lie down here. Okay, I've done it. Oh man, I can hear stuff right here. I can hear fighting actually. Can't find the players. There was definitely a fight around here. I just realized I had my earphones in the wrong way. I was listening to the wrong direction. It's this way. There is something right in front of me. Look at the footsteps up the rock. It went this way. It looks kind of big. Big feet. <laughs> you know what that means? Nope. <laughs> oh, it's a Giga. It is sprinting though. So it could run out of stamina in a second. And then maybe, just maybe, I'll have to sit down. Oh, it is. It does. Go. Go. I wish I got there a little bit earlier though. Oh god, he's sprinting at me. If only I got more hits in when he was laid down. He's coming for me. He's coming for me. I need as much stamina as possible though. Okay, get up now. He charged. He charged. I was going to do the same. It's a good job I didn't. There we go. I definitely hit him there. Yeah, I'm running. I'm not fighting that any longer. Uh-oh. 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 Uh what do I do? What do I do? Oh my, he followed me. There's only one thing to do. There's only one thing to do. I have to lose him here. Does he know I can loop around and go back? He's coming for me. Go. Time to go. My footsteps are giving me away. I got around him. I don't think he knows that I doubled back. Ha! <laughs> now we can sit here and survey the situation. Uh, I really need to get a kill now. There's a lot of crocs. I don't want to go near a croc. What on earth are you? It's that dasp. Hopefully. It's a dasp, it's a dasp. It's a dodge that. Can't get bone broken. Okay, just keep hitting him without getting hit. I hit him with that, nice. Oh no, what's helping? Oh, it's a Sarko. Hit him again. He's bone breaking the croc. Croc, you can't kill him. I have to kill him. Come on. I need to get my stamina back. I have not got long. I've got six minutes. Stamina, stamina. No. No, they're fighting. Or is he teamed with him? I think he's teamed. That's A-OK -okay with me. I hit him again. Come on. I need to just tank it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I didn't think I was going to do that then. Especially when he teamed with him. We actually did it. I'm missing a couple along the side here. And yeah, some of them are sub-adult because I died like immediately after getting a kill. Uh, I had to delete some to get some more space. That's why we're missing a few. But there's all the dinosaurs. We did it. 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 <laughs> and that means we officially got one kill with every dinosaur in Path of Titans in under 24 hours. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. It's not even a real word anymore. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Thank you.